praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is another day the Lord has made. It's going to be a beautiful day today. Very green here. Green. Very much life. Hallelujah. And that's what we want to be too. Green trees. Hallelujah. Father, I pray you bless this devotional. That you speak to all our hearts, Lord. Comfort all our hearts. Encourage our hearts, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name. This devotional today, Be of Good Cheer, by Charles Spurgeon. Be of good cheer. That's what Jesus said. He knew what all we would be having to go through. He already told us in advance. And he also said, But be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. John 16.33 These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have, ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Let's go there. I want to read that verse prior to this one. John 16.32 Now the Lord was telling his people in advance, prophesying to them what was to come. John 16.32 Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and ye and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. So the Lord was telling them, there's going to come a time, and an hour, when I'm going to be given over, to my enemies because of jealousy and you guys are going to all be scattered you're not going to stick with me you're going to leave me alone in other words alone and the word alone there means singly remaining just single only by themselves so Jesus was left alone by those that had walked with him and fellowshiped with him and said they loved him and said that they would never leave him but they did when it came down to that hour because they did not want to be associated with Jesus in fear that the same thing would happen to them. So they left him alone. But here is the encouragement our Savior left us. You know, if we find ourselves in a place like that, this is the encouragement the Lord gives us. Okay? John sixteen thirty three. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Now let's look into these words here. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. That you might have quietness. That you might have rest. I've told you these things aforetime. So that you won't be all unforgathered about it. But that you'll have rest. And quietness. In the world ye shall have tribulation. Ye shall have pressure. Affliction. Anguish. Ye shall be burdened. You shall have persecution. You shall be have trouble. But here's another 
encouragement from our Savior, but be of good cheer. He's telling us, have courage. Even though you're going through all these things, have courage. I have overcome. I have conquered. I have prevailed over. I have got the victory over the world. Over this orderly arrangement of the world. Over the decorations of the world. Over the adornments of the world. Including its inhabitants. I have overcome the world. This devotional be of good cheer. My Lord's words are true as to the tribulation. I have my share of it beyond all doubt. The flail is not hung up out of the way, nor can I hope that it will be laid aside so long as I lay upon the threshing floor. How can I look to be at home in the enemy's country? Joyful while in exile or comfortable in a wilderness. This is not my rest. This earth, this world is not my rest. This is the place of the furnace and the forge and the hammer. This is the place that we are formed into what God wants us to be and fashioned into his vessel. This place is not our rest. It's not our final resting place. My experience tallies with the Lord's words. I note how he bids me be of good cheer. Alas, I am far too apt to be downcast. And we're far too apt to be downcast when all these things happen. When we are in anguish, when we are in trouble, when we are afflicted or burdened or persecuted, we have a tendency to be apt to be downcast. My spirit soon sinks when I am sorely tried. But I must not give way to this feeling. When my Lord bids me cheer up, I must not dare to be downcast, to be cast down. He said, be of good cheer. Even though all these things are happening, be of good cheer. What is the argument which he uses to encourage me? Why, it is his own victory. His own victory. He has overcome the world the flesh, and the devil. He says, I have overcome the world. His battle was much more severe than mine. I have not yet resisted unto blood. Why do I despair of overcoming? See, my soul, the enemy has been once overcome. I fight with a beaten foe. We have got to keep this in mind. We fight with an already beaten foe. Jesus already defeated him. O world, Jesus has already vanquished thee. And in me, by his grace, he will overcome thee again. That's what happens. He will overcome the devil again. He will overcome the flesh again. He will overcome the world again through us, in us. Therefore, am I of good cheer and sing unto my conquering Lord. He told us in advance what we would be going through. He also said, be of good cheer, be of good courage, have courage. Get the holy foresight out ahead of us that 
we have something we're, we're going for on this walk, on this journey, on this road, this king's road. We have a destination. And it's a destination of life. There's life on this road, even though there's suffering and affliction and all kinds of things on this road that we go through. It's a road of life. So let us, let us not shrink back or go back or give up. But let's go forward. We have all the power within us to do that. Jesus Christ is in us. If you're a true believer in Jesus, a true saint, then you have the Spirit of God in you, which is all power and all grace and all glory. If you don't have the Spirit of the Lord and you are not saved, you can be. You can be saved. You can be changed. You can do a 180 in your life. And come into the camp of the overcomer. Come into the camp of life. Just fall down upon your face before a holy God. Repent of your sins. And believe the gospel, the true gospel of, the Je of Jesus Christ. Which is the way of the cross. This life is so short, y'all. We aren't here for very long. Let's be what God wants us to be and has fashioned us to be, His vessel, at any time, in any place, in any way. And let's be of good cheer. Let's have courage on this walk, no matter what we're going through. He's watching over us. He sees everything that's going on, every detail. He has not forgotten us. He said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. So even if it looks like it, we have to stand on his promise that he has never forsaken and he will never leave because he is not a liar. Let's believe that today more than we ever have before. In Jesus' name, amen.